Symbolism versus substance can King Charles save crashing UK economies with South Africa state banquet. India has overtaken the UK as the world's fifth largest economy. UK GDP is smaller than it was before the 2008 financial crisis, resulting in Britain rethinking its strategy by trying to revive the British Empire by trying to play nice with the colonies. We have been told that the UK is lucky to have the royal family whom they have dubbed the ultimate brand ambassadors. The Financial Post and Bloomberg reported that the UK's stock and bond markets lost at least 500 billion US dollars in combined value since King Charles III got the top job and AMP, Liz Truss took over as Prime Minister. How King Charles plans to save the UK economy. Host a state dinner for South Africa. The British royal family could have stopped colonialism and apartheid if they wanted yet for 27 years Mandela was jailed. They remained silent. Today they want to pretend that UK and South Africa are good partners. King Charles III is the head of state of the United Kingdom. In his short reign has been one of gloom. There is no confidence in the UK or its economy. 10% of all South Africans, the majority white, owns more than 90% of national wealth. Some 80% of the population, overwhelmingly black, owns nothing at all. New York Times Colonial Theft The core of apartheid policy, royal policy and power revolved around land. Black South Africans were stripped of their land and relocated to racially segregated developments. The palace approved. Raw materials from the colonies spurred the growth of the Industrial Revolution in Britain. The diamonds and gold resources that were extracted from South Africa and taken to create wealth in England leaving South Africans in abject poverty and the royals not blinking an eyelid. The Cullinan a 3,106 carat gem mined in Transvaal region in South Africa in 1905 and given to King Edward VII the British monarch at the time. In 1908 the gem was cut into nine large stones, the largest. The Great Star of Africa went on the sovereign scepter. The second largest, the smaller Star of Africa, was mounted into the imperial state crown and 96 smaller pieces for brooches, necklaces and earrings which are now owned by Kate Middleton. Investor confidence shattered by a shock tax-cutting budget, resulting in protests for better living conditions across the UK. In these uncertain times what is the new king's priority? The new King Charles III is smearing his youngest son Prince Harry and his mixed-race wife and children. The monarchy supposedly generates huge revenue for Britain. Royal reporters imply that the expenses incurred by the British taxpayer are far less than the $100 million incurred for their upkeep. King Charles is the head of state of the United Kingdom. He has the power to prorogue Parliament and change bills that the democratically elected members of Parliament have passed. He is a man with absolute political power. Investor confidence is shattered, so what is the King doing about it? Royals are said to drive the UK tourism industry. Brand Finance said in 2017 that it expects the royal family generates some £550 million. If this is the case, then the royals should be able to generate billions in revenue to pay for all the energy needs of the British subjects. The Palace of Versailles gets more than double the visitor numbers as Buckingham Palace, despite France having no monarchy. Will state visit for Ramaphosa help Britain? South Africa's Times newspaper poll saw 83% of readers say they wanted to see their president come back with the stolen gems. Most South Africans view King Charles III as the colonizer-in-chief who is in possession of stolen South African wealth. South African President Ramaphosa is in trouble in his country. He is neither respected nor liked by his fellow countrymen. Ramaphosa is apparently unwilling to pursue any policy that might be considered radical by international investors which has resulted in income equality in South Africa. For as long as structural racism exists, there will be generations of young people of color who do not start their lives with the same equality of opportunity as their white peers. And for as long as that continues, 
untapped potential will never get to be realized. Prince Harry There are millions of South Africans who are skeptical of King Charles III and his renewed interest in South Africa. Time will tell whether he is indeed successful in South Africa. King Charles is a man who lacks leadership. He lacks foresight and strategic insight. What are his priorities during these unprecedented difficult economic times? Removing the birthright from his two mixed-race grandchildren. Royal rats tell us that Charles wants to update the letter's patent and prevent them from becoming a prince and princess after all. Let's face it King Charles III is who likely had concerns about Archer's skin colour. The UK economy is in meltdown. What are the royals going to do about it? We are told that the royals add billions to the UK economy. Britain's currency fell in value to historic lows. The interest rate on government debt increased. And the Bank of England was forced into emergency action to purchase government bonds. The pound plunged to an all-time low after UK Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng vowed to press on with more tax cuts sterling touched $1.035, the lowest level against the US dollar since decimalization in 1971. If you liked this video and would like to support us with a one-time donation, give us a super thanks. Support us by becoming a patron. If you believe in amplifying the work of the Duchess of Impact Meghan, consider our channel membership by clicking join. Leave us a comment give us a thumbs up and share it. Subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell icon, so you never miss any updates.